There's a lady who sure all that glitters is gold. Greetings, guitar engineers. I'm Desi Serna. And today, I want to share with you the top 10 finger-picking songs you should learn. Now, whenever we put together a list like this, we need to keep in mind that it's subjective and there are differing opinions about which songs should be included. I put my list of recommendations together based on the following criteria. You already know the basics and can play songs but you have little to no experience with finger picking, so you need to start out easy with it. And finally, you're interested in learning familiar songs from the pop and rock genres. So if that sounds like you, and you wanna get introduced to the general finger picking techniques used in popular music, here are the top 10 songs you should learn. Number one, Fast Car by Tracy Chapman. You get a fast car. I want a ticket to anywhere. This song is a great way to ease your way into finger picking. It doesn't use any busy or complicated patterns. You could play it with a thumb and just one finger, and there's just a few parts to the song so it's easy to put together. On top of this, it's a well-known song, and it's one that often inspires guitarists to want to finger pick. Number two, You Were Meant For Me by Jewel. This is another very popular singer-songwriter guitar song. Uh, it's played at a very slow tempo. The pattern is simple. You could play it with a thumb and just one finger. And there's just a few parts to the song, so it's easy to put together. The number three finger-picking guitar song you should learn is Dust in the Wind by Kansas. This song might come up number one on many finger-picking lists because it's so popular and it has become a quintessential finger-picking song. It's based on the so-called Travis picking pattern that forms the basis for many folk-style finger-picking songs. I put this song at number three because it's actually kind of challenging to play. It has a busy 16th note finger-picking pattern that's repeated throughout the whole song and you don't get a break. That said, it's definitely a pattern you want to learn and once you get it down, it becomes easy to repeat it, much like repeating a common strum pattern. And if you slow this song down to 90 or 80% tempo, it's far more manageable. The number four finger picking song you should learn is Thinking Out Loud by Ed Sheeran. Darling, I will be loving you till we're 70. After playing with the busy strum pattern used in Dust and Wind for a while, you'll probably want to change gears and play something different and simpler. Ed Sheeran's Thinking Out Loud is a hugely popular song. It uses some simple finger plucking and it even adds a string slapping technique. By slapping the strings on the backbeat in between the chords, you add a percussive sound that gives your playing a nice groove. The number five finger picking song you should learn is Landslide by Fleetwood Mac. I took my love and I took it down. I climbed a mountain and I turned around. This is another finger picking classic that would make the top of most people's lists. The original recording is hard to play because it features multiple guitar tracks, but the live version, which has become more famous, is played on just one guitar. The song starts out easy with a simple Travis Picking style finger pattern. But then Fleetwood Mac guitarist Lindsey Buckingham adds quite a bit of complexity with a variation on that pattern and added notes. And there's even a solo chord melody section. This song is easy enough to play if you just focus on the simplest pattern that's used at the top of the song. 
but I wouldn't recommend the other parts of this song to someone who is new with finger picking until after you've developed quite a bit of finger picking experience. So for this reason, it comes in at number five on my list, and I would add that trying to play the live version note for note is really difficult because there's so much improvised variation. I think the better approach is just to get the general simplified idea of each section and then put the song together that way. The number six finger picking song you should learn is Stairway to Heaven by Led Zeppelin. Did you think I could make a top 10 finger picking list and not include this song? There's a lady Stairway is often the first finger-picking songs guitarists learn, but it's not quite as easy as it sounds, and I don't think it's the best song to start with. That said, it's not terribly difficult either, so once you get a little bit of experience using your fingers, you'll be ready to give this one a try. You can focus on just the first two minutes of the song, which is the portion of the song that's finger-picked. There are some sections that you could and should play note for note, like the first eight bars. and other parts like the C section, as I like to call it, where you could just get the general idea and not bother with trying to follow the music exactly. Overall, Stairway does not require a whole lot of finger picking technique. It is played slowly, so that makes it easy. But it's not based on a simple pattern that you can just repeat throughout. So the hardest part of this might be just remembering how each chord is plucked. The number seven finger picking song you should learn is Blackbird by the Beatles. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Like Stairway, guitarists are almost obligated to learn Blackbird. It's become a real finger picking classic. And while it might sound easy when you listen to it, it's actually far more complicated than you think. Rather than using standard chord shapes, McCartney moves up and down the fretboard using various intervals and chromatic half-step movement. And you don't purely finger pick. Instead, McCartney uses a unique combination of finger plucking and finger strumming. Most people overlook this technique and incorrectly playing it using a typical finger picking pattern. I recommend that you watch some live versions of McCartney playing this online so you can see exactly what he's doing. Also, when you learn this song, slow it down. The number eight finger picking song you should learn is Your Body is a Wonderland by John Mayer. We got the Here's another song that, like Ed Sheeran's Thinking Out Loud, was recorded more recently, at least compared to the other songs on this list, which were recorded several decades ago. John Mayer is a super skilled guitarist, particularly when it comes to fingerstyle techniques. This might be his easiest finger-picked song, and it happens to be one of his most popular as well. He uses drop D tuning, and there's an interesting interplay between the thumb and fingers that's different from your typical folk-style finger-picking patterns. The number nine finger picking song you should learn is Babe, I'm Gonna Leave You by Led Zeppelin. What I love about this song is it's almost like an exercise to practice using your thumb and all three fingers, or possibly your thumb and all four fingers. In fact, you may want to just learn the main part to this song because the song is quite lengthy and some of the other parts are hard to follow. I like to use this song as a warm-up exercise to get blood flowing through my whole picking hand. Because this song has a busy pattern that involves a lot of fingers, you definitely want to slow this one down. And finally, the number 10 finger picking song you should learn is The Boxer by Simon and Garfunkel. I'm just a poor boy, my story 
This is another extremely popular finger picking classic and one that would often come up number one on many people's lists. However, this song is tougher to play than most people realize and it's very difficult for a new finger picker to put this whole song together. Because I consider it to be more of an intermediate level song, I put it last at number 10 on my list. The original recording features multiple guitars with one in an alternate tuning. I recommend you actually learn the live version and focus specifically on Paul Simon's parts because he simplifies things when he plays it live. It's based on a busy Travis picking style pattern that you use throughout the song with the only breaks coming during the choruses when you switch to strumming. There are some variations of the finger picking pattern that involve you doing different things with your fretting hand fingers that can be difficult to coordinate. Another thing that makes this song difficult is following its form. The sections aren't always played the same and there's a lot to remember. But because this is such a popular song and it's high on most people's lists, it makes my list as well. If you slow it down and simplify some parts, it becomes far more manageable to play. I just don't recommend that you start out with it. Instead, get your feet wet by learning how to play some simpler finger picking songs first and then you'll be ready to jump into the ring with the boxer. So that completes my list of the top 10 finger picking songs you should learn. If you found this video helpful, click like and leave me some positive feedback. If you have questions or if you have other songs you think should be added to this list, post in the comments below and I'll reply. Maybe this is just the sort of thing you need to be focusing on right now. Or maybe your guitar playing needs help in other areas. If you need help determining what you should specifically be working on right now in order to get your guitar skills together so you can move forward and reach your music goals, go to my website, guitarmusictheory.com. Answer the questions I ask you about your playing, and I'll send you free custom video instruction calibrated to your current level. Whether you need help with finger picking, guitar soloing, learning music theory, or starting from scratch and learning the basics, I have a free video course for you. Go to guitarmusictheory.com now to enroll in your free video course. You can click on the link in the video description. Well, thanks for watching. I'm Desi Serna. Before you go, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Click on the notification bell to receive alerts when new videos are uploaded. Then keep playing and stay tuned for more.